Don't ask me how. I'll make it so How's he holding up? Yeah. He's nervous, but he doesn't want his mom to see. He's a good kid. Well, he's accepting responsibility for what he did. Taking his punishment and trying to protect his mom all at the same time. Not a kid anymore, Frank. Maybe we're early. I was sitting right there. The day the boy that killed Gus. They let him go. Then I have to let Rafe go too, right? I mean, they have to realize that it was a mistake. That's all. <laughs> Do I look pretty? You look beautiful, but that's not what this is about. Okay, this is our chance to show to the world that we are back and better than ever. You ready? Mm -hmm. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Let's go get him. Go! Thank you for coming. You okay? No, I'm not. I didn't want this. I didn't. I didn't want him to give up. I'm proud of you. What? Why would you possibly be proud of me? Because you're here. I mean, easier to skip the whole thing. I wanted to help him. I wanted to get him out of this. Sometimes you can't do that. Rafael Rivera? Yes, sir. Says here you've agreed to a plea bargain. Charges aggravated assault. Do you understand what that means? Yes, sir. Before I give your sentence, there will be a time for testimony. You know some very important people, Mr. Rivera. Uh, I, I suppose that, that, that is true. Including a letter from the district attorney. The man you shot. And the letter is on your behalf. Asking for leniency. Your Honor, I've known Rafe ever since he's been in town, which has been about two years. His father, Detective Gus Ituro, well, married my sister, Detective Harley Cooper. It's, it's a little complicated, but uh, I think I can handle it. It's been really, uh, it's been really rough for Rafe um, through these last couple of years. Like juvenile hall? That was a minor crime, Your Honor, and uh, not that I'm minimizing it, but I've been a cop for a lot of years, and I've seen worse. And what else has he been through? Gus didn't even know he had a son. Two have never even met. And then Rafe was thrown into this wild, dysfunctional, complicated family, uh, which included two younger stepbrothers that are very, very fond of him. And then Rafe was, was accepted into the family. He was part of our family. And Gus was really, really thrilled to have a son. And then eight months ago, Gus was killed in a motorcycle accident. That's all very sad. But I cannot ignore the fact that a man was almost killed. I understand that, Your Honor, but you know what? It's not the end of the story. I hadn't been chief for long when I came across some evidence. Evidence that made it seem like Gus Ituro uh, 
Rafe's dad was on the take, that he was a dirty cop. Uh, I'd known Gus a long time, so that was really hard for me to believe that. Uh, but at the same time, I couldn't ignore the evidence. So I contacted our DA, Jeffrey O'Neill. You did your job. Well, I guess so, sir, but that's really when everything started to spin out of control. I think if I would have looked harder or if I would have dug deeper, I would have found out that Gus had a plan. All Gus was trying to do was to help a friend with a heart transplant. And that he was going to clean up everything afterwards. Not exactly by the book, but all he was trying to do was to uh, help a friend live. He wasn't a dirty cop. But for Rafe, what we were doing is we were taking away the memory of his dad, a guy he'd only known for two years. Rafe's not a criminal. He's a good kid who made a bad decision. What's taking him so long? It could be a good thing. It means the uh, judge might be considering what Mount might said. You two were great. Thanks. Yeah, maybe they'll let him off the hook. I mean, it could happen, right? Judge definitely has that authority. Rafael Rivera, please rise. I've taken everything I've read and heard into consideration. It's impressive that you not only have two of Springfield's finest speaking on your behalf, but also your victim. You're a very lucky man. Yes. I also understand the emotions you must have gone through, losing your father, thinking his memory was going to be tarnished. But I cannot ignore the fact that a serious crime was committed and a man could have been killed. I'm hereby sentencing you to two years in state prison with the possibility of early parole. No! No, you can't take him yet, please! Just wait! You can't take him yet! Sorry, ma'am, no contact. No, it's okay. it's right. wait, go! Wait. Right. Your Honor, can you please just have a minute to say goodbye? As long as you and the other officers supervise, they can have a minute. Right. Nick, I'm going to be okay, all right? Please behave. Fail absolute best behavior, okay, so you can get out early. Okay. I need you to live your life, too. Okay? I don't want you sitting on that, on the, in that room waiting for me to come home. Uh, look, I know, I mean it. You've given him way too much for me. <laughs> You guys, please, Frank, make sure she has a wife. Of course. I love you. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I just, it's sorry. It just, it won't even be a minute. I just have to. My base, you don't have to say anything. Yes, I do. I know when I came back, I said a lot of things. I, I want you back, but I can't have you. And I don't want you waiting for me. I don't know if you're going to, but. So you'll be a life. I'm always going to care about you, and you'll always be my... Oh. Come on. Time's up. Come on. Hang in there, Ray. I love you. I'm going to go with Emma look beautiful? She looks fantabulous. What's <laughs> the occasion? We're having our pictures taken for Galaxy Hotels. Ooh. My mom is important. Your mom is very important. All moms are important. What's wrong? I just came back from race sentencing the courthouse. Wait a minute, he hasn't even had a trial. He took a plea bargain. Two years in state prison. Italian's a mess. 
Can we make our cards to make her feel better? Don't you finish your soda, we have to get to our appointment, okay?